Hi, welcome. I'm Priscilla Batzel. This is Expressionist Flute Art Studio Gallery's demonstrations and tutorials. Let's have some fun. I have a triple primed, not by me, 12 inch by 24 inch canvas and I want to play with dots and drags. I'm a color art affiliate so I'm going to use the color colors I have left. This is shiny taffeta. probably going to have to come back and stroke through twice. This is a mix of sour lemon. With some orange crush or holly berry or whatever was handy at the time. I'm going to leave that on its side. This is Tuscan Sun. I'm going to risk a little orange crush, although I do have a mellow yellow. The colors will be listed under the video in the description, at least for now. This is a total experiment for me. I want to add chunks of sweeping colors. I guess we're going to skip the other color because I don't really need it right this moment. And I'm going to use my big silicone rubber brush. Throw in some pink carnation. I seem to be turning my painting. And I want a frosted berry. Some dancing fuchsia. And I guess I'm just going to scrape that right off it's clean. I always go back and put black over things that I don't like. Or white. So I'm going to use the Spring Wisteria. Some Egyptian blue. blue flame and some oriental blue and maybe some perfect indigo I really want to risk the color that's already on my brush thinking some Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold couldn't be a bad thing. I think since everything is mixing, all bets are off for my original plan. I've got Rhapsody Rose, primary element. Dancing Fusion. I have no idea why I put the top back on. Because it's right here, I think I'm going to indulge a little more pink carnation. Alright, this time I'm going to use the perfect indigo.
spring wisteria. That's the African violet, which I should be willing to fix. But I was thinking, water lily. I want a darker blue. That implies midnight shadow. I've got blue velvet. If I can find my small, yes, I can lay my hands right on that. That's excellent. Be even better if I open it up all the way and it comes out. I think I might want to put some gold in there again, but I'm not going to forget that I wanted to include Royal Sapphire. I just have to give it a shake for a second. So I definitely want all the pinks. Especially the dancing fuchsia. And the whispering wisteria. Maybe just because I can a little more of the Rhapsody Rose. So I've got some agave blue, which is a prism pour. And some fandango, another prism pour. gonna squeeze in a little tiny bit of shiny taffeta for no good reason <laughs> that I can think of right now to tell you. Except for it might make a light spot which would be okay with me. And I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do and try a thinner profile tool. Just starting to get used to using the edge of the tool.
Do I dare? I want to put some dancing fuchsia in there. I'm not sure it's a good idea. It makes a fairly decent orange. I don't mind that at all. Because no matter what, this can all be dry and have another layer added over it. I think. Royal Sapphire. Okay, so I'm back and it's the next day and this is dry and I've had a little think for the last five or ten minutes trying to figure out what to do. And I think I'm just going to put paint over other paint and scrape through. And I'll find out pretty quick if it's going to work or not. And that was Orange Crush and Dancing Fuchsia. I think in order to get this to work the way I want it to, I'm going to need the largest I don't really want to go over it twice, but I think I have to. I see a sweater fuzz. I gotta remember it's not that hard to wipe off white paint. Wet paint? <laughs> white paint. Wet paint from, uh, one more time, from a dry canvas. I'm gonna take this extra paint here, which is a beautiful color combination, honestly. Put it right in there. I'm going to wipe those off immediately. And then I have to con contemplate what exactly I want to scrape with. And I'm inclined to go just go ahead and use my Michaels tool, which you will see. Included, hopefully, as long as I remember. Come on, don't be stuck. Hey, let go. Okay, so we've got a wobble, but it is what it is and it's, and it's fine. And as much as I hate to wipe this tool off, maybe I'll just use it right there. Well, I really like how that looks. And that makes me want to use the dancing, excuse me, the Fandango. Plenty of paint on both sides, which means I really need to wipe that off. So I won't have stripes, but I will at least have a similar color. And in a pinch, I could find a way to put stripes in there too. But for right now, that's good. And I'm going to wipe that tool off as well. Definitely contemplating rotating this. Coming back up here, trying to move it someplace you can see what I'm doing. That would also be a good idea. 
and I want to come out there. Those are great colors. I have to decide what's going in here. And I kind of like it to be gold, but I'm thinking it might be better off to be blue. Like in something extreme. Oriental blue, and maybe I'm also thinking I've got some cerulean blue I pulled out. But I've got the wipe that off. I've got the cyan aqua also, which I intend on using more places. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try the cerulean blue. I've got this little, little tiny area, but it's a little schmutzed up. Maybe I'll use my residuals right there. And maybe, a lot of times when you add paint to a dry canvas, it dries faster, it seems like. I really want to do this next, but I think it's risky. And I really want blue there. Why do I want blue there? Well, I can have a different blue. But I want it to be a lighter blue. Maybe it has to be the turquoise. Maybe I've got a couple few turquoises. And I'll use them all. This is Mystique. I haven't quite conquered how much paint to use. As you can tell. I'm still not wasting a whole lot. getting the impression that if I used a little dancing fuchsia in there, I might get a really nice combination. I'm a little nervous. I want to use the Whispering Wisteria, but I really feel like it'll disappear. But let's do it anyway. No, let's not. Ah, there's my tool. And I've, it's still clean, yay. I'm gonna take some of this paint right at the beginning and share it. And now it's matchy matchy. I think I'm just going to keep right on using my same tool. That translated quite nicely. Hopefully this, the short side of this tool will work appropriately well. I can utilize all this extra paint right there. See the long side and then the short side. Although it looks like I've left dried on paint on the short side. Thinking about orange down here, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. It seems like it might be something for another day. I, I suppose I could start. I, I kind of love the Fandango and I'm thinking that's what I'm going to go for.
Where's the tool I need? I've got a bigger, wider tool, and I might risk using that. That worked pretty well. So I'm going to try to feel okay about adding paint to the skinny side of this stripe. I think I'm going to add some cerulean blue to the edge. It's probably too much again. I forgot I had some in my dish. I could have used that. I'm thinking I'm going to have to wipe up in between. It's going better than I anticipated, honestly. I get nervous. I think everybody gets nervous. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure everybody gets nervous. Now again, if it were dry, if you did this in stages, you have a much better chance of cleaning up any mistakes. But waiting and being patient, not my strongest suit. I'm going to knock this off right there. Hopefully it'll still be useful. Clean my brush off. There's the tool I needed. Very good. I think I'm going to use the skinny side of this. I'm wondering if I can integrate that. I probably shouldn't worry about it. I am going to have to let that dry before I do this, I think. Unless I had a curved thing. But I might do this corner. I think I want to do that corner in yellow. So I'll just clean this tool off again. I'm not sure what's going to go in here. It might be the blue again. I think that would be good. So I'm going to use Tuscan Sun. I like that. That's fine. The question is which direction do I want to go? Maybe I'll just Flip it around. That works. So all I've got left is this. And if I use the short side, I could probably get away with it. <coughs> I was planning on Miami Magenta, but that could go up here. We'll see. I was originally planning on doing some dots. So I'm pretty sure this... Whispering Wisteria will mostly disappear, which really isn't a bad plan for me. Maybe we'll try it with a little bit of... Ooh, I'm not sure I like that at all. Where's my little brush? I think it's going to get some blue flame. Pretty sure that Miami Magenta will mostly disappear. 
Not sure that's nearly enough paint in that area. So what am I going to do? Use some perfectly perfect indigo. You know what? I'm going to throw some uh, Rhapsody Rose in there for no good reason. Just because I want to. Cross your fingers for me, would you? Cool, that gives a good dimensional effect. Well, I guess that's pretty close to being done, honestly. And the first where we started is starting to dry. The only thing I really would like to do is see if I can use some of this cerulean blue. Lead it up over. That hard edge is kind of bugging me. There, it's not perfect, but it's still better than it was. I like it better than I did. And if I like it enough, I can go in tomorrow and make any adjustments. I think I need. Maybe one little gold spot. Not sure how to do this either. Make sure my tool is dry. Take a little paint. That was Decor Americana 24 karat gold, by the way. Well, I wasn't unhappy with that uh, Miami Magenta seemed to work out okay in spite of the fact that I didn't think I was going to like it. Not much of it really showed up at all. Okay, so. Think about this. That worked. Oh, you know what? I've still got one more zone to go. Do I want to play with it? I kind of do. I don't want to do as much as I thought I was going to do, though. I want to do a partial. <sighs> Come on, cat hair. I can't believe I completely forgot about that. to use some Whispering Wisteria with it. All right. It's kind of cool. Thank you for joining me. Please share a thumbs up and subscribe. Choose all when you click the bell if you're going to help me out. If you're interested in a certain method, I have a wide assortment of playlists sharing different methods. Please watch as much of my video as possible to positively affect the algorithm. EASPBGallery at gmail.com is my email address to inquire about a private class or the purchase of artwork, please feel free to ask questions. They're always welcome. My channel survives with the assistance of channel memberships and PayPal donations, and I want to send a huge thank you out to all my supporters.